Okay, I'm mixing up some floor leveler for those high and uneven spots of the subfloor in the kitchen. Um, you remember I was telling you before about those. Um, sometimes you just can't get them perfect because it's, you know, those old house things are sagging and, and uneven. So this will actually level it out in spots and give me a nice solid foundation to work on. I'll show you in some spots where I'm going to put it. Right now I'm working right here. This transition was a little off. Maybe about a quarter of an inch. Could have shimmed it, but it was difficult to get up under there to those joists. So the floor level will work. And of course you got to put floor, you know, the patch in seams like this so they don't be rising up. A little thin layer around here and stuff. So that's what I'm doing today. I was telling you about they have the beige carpeting. Well, the carpet has been removed. And um, I had a snap of it's not the chalk line here, and there's also one right here, you just can't see it, but I'm using it as a guide so I can lay my tiles, and I laid a few tiles here to see how they're going to um, fall, or how they're going to lay out towards the edges there. That's a closet, and I'm going to do the same going over there, and then I'll just work from a corner out so I don't work myself into a corner. Um, let me see, what else can I tell you? Yeah, so, yeah, this, this had an old-fashioned uh, linoleum, linoleum red tile that you can still buy this in the store. They have like an adhesive backing to them. When you put some adhesive down there and you stick them in, but these particular tiles that the client has chosen are the self-peel and stick tiles. Not my particular choice brand, but it will do the job. And again, I think you want to, I should remind you that this property is a, going to be a rental property. So it's a, be nice to see some nice new tiles down here. And we we'll won't have to worry about cleaning carpets or anything. Maybe one day they may want to invest in hardwood flooring. In that case, these tiles will come up. And, or either they will stay down there. And I'll just put a, a overlay, a underlay over them and put the hardwood floor in. Okay. I'll show you the after pick after it's all finished. And the same will be done in the kitchen as well. Another pillar stick tile. Okay, I'm back again, doing a little more work in this house. Like I told you before, I work on the floors, and what I've got done so far was getting the hallway taken care of. So you can see the hallway there, and I'm going here. Never mind the water jug. That's that's to hold down the towel that wants to uh, doesn't want to stick well. That's that's gonna make it stick better. And here's the bedroom here. And same towel was used. For this hallway that leads to the other bedroom and I made a nice made it made it where it was no transition point this flows right into the kitchen <clears throat> and I'll go over here and this the living room there will be I'm gonna snap me a chalk line here and put put these put these same tiles in here that are also in this room, I did this room yesterday. That's another bedroom. So those tiles will flow right into here. Floor that may be used again in the future, but this is a renter property. And by being a renter property, is well, they're not gonna spend that much money on it. And, and so, what I'm gonna do is put a, a nice quality um, peel and stick tile down here and I'll do a real nice job. The same tiles will be used for this uh, um, bathroom. Okay. Oh, I'll show you the tiles that are being used. 